Hello everybody, it's SD Matt Haven here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the M48A2 120mm. It is also known as the T54E2 Tier 10 variant with a different turret, Tier 8, converted to a Tier 10. You know what? It's, it's a Tier 10. It's a medium. It is what it is. Now, there's a couple of things about this tank that I'm going to be absolutely stoked to be going over. And, well, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the statistics here. So, starting off, you have 258 standard penetration, along with 340 millimeters of premium pin and 60 millimeters of high explosive pin. So, the standard penetration is equivalent to about 50% of the most tier 10 heavies. Uh, 60 TP, for instance, only has 250. The T1105 has 258. And then you have, there's a couple out there of 258. For instance, the AMX 50B. If I am wrong about that, please let me know down in the comments. I'm not 100% sure. Other than that, 410 meters of view range, still concealment of 0.14. That's not exactly the most concealed tank in the world, but it's okay. Uh, the 48.3 kilometers per hour. It's definitely not the fastest compared to some of its counterparts. Along with that, the armor is not exactly the greatest, but we jump at that here into a second. So here on console, we're looking at a stock 120 millimeter gun, which 120 millimeters does allow you to overmatch one 40 millimeter plate. So you can overmatch 40 millimeters of armor with your standard AP rounds. If you're loading heat rounds and try to overmatch it, it will not work. AP readjust by five degrees on impact. Along with that, 400, 400, and 515 on high explosives. Reload time, base reload is 9 seconds. Base aim time is 2.1. 36 rounds in total, 0.34 accuracy, so that's gun dispersion. Gun depression at 10 degrees is going to allow you to work a ridge line like no other. 20 degrees of elevation, so it should have no problem aiming up. 203 millimeters on the turret armor, 76 side, and 51 on the rear. 76 cannot be overmatched by anything as long as they hit it directly the view range is going to be really helping out i do believe you are capable of getting out all the way up to around 400 and 451 okay you know what my brain is farting i'm looking at something i'm sorry you guys there's no way there's no way hold on oh my god one second i'm sorry i'm freaking i have in the background, I'm looking at the statistics. Okay, 478.06. Don't know how that had the 0 .06. Okay, <laughs> I'm not even worried about it. All right, so power to weight, 16.59. That's going to be really nice. Uh, terrain resistance, so for hard, you got 0 0.8. Medium, you have 0 0.9. And for soft, you have 1.8. So in soft, that power to weight is going to be dropping down to about 8. Along with that, top reverse speed of 20 kilometers extremely mobile fire chance 12 percent. i swear that is lying if you guys have been watching the streams i've been set on fire a lot and the first time i played this tank ended in a fire all right track traverse speed 48 degrees signal range 445 meters so for 745 that's gonna help you out with assist damage and a ton of other fun stuff all right armor <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm taking this so serious. So, yeah, we got lots of green, and this is against a standard. So, let's say you max out your gun depression at that 10 degrees that you got. Come over a ridge line. You still have a lot of green. Guys are going to be able to just rip right through the front turret. And best way to compare this is actually, let's go ahead and go up against a tier 8. Let's say another fellow medium for instance the bat chat that was recently added so let's go ahead and save this and uh yes yes we are struggling a crap ton select we're gonna be going up against its premium rounds save okay there we go so even with the 240 millimeters on the premium rounds of the borask it can still rip through this thing heavily even if it's camping out on a ridge line, just aim at the bottom of the turret, around the cheeks. The hatch is nice and big, overexposed. But however, the hatch will help, really help you out when you're coming up above. No. So, you, you're going to be able to peek on top of corners and get that to pop out, no problems. But against the standard rounds, you're going to be really good. And this is up against the tier 8, not your fellow tier 10s. Your fellow tier 10s, 
will be really making your day bad. Alrighty, so down in the back here, we have that blue, which should be a 100% penetration chance. Alrighty, I am done with this. We're going to cancel that. Nope, we didn't cancel that. I don't know what I'm doing. Now nah, we're just going to go through 10, 121. That's got a 122 millimeter gun. So let's go ahead and verse that. 262 millimeters of pin. One thing I can say about this tank that has surprised me quite a bit is the side armor is actually 50.8 in the back and then up in the front you're looking at about 78 millimeters 76 millimeters so honestly you can pull up against 155 millimeter guns and auto ricochet you can over angle a tad bit just because of the boat haul it's going to allow you to do that quite a bit now jumping up against let's say a tier 10 tank destroyer if you do not like this be my guest go ahead skip up ahead and we should be in gameplay. Other than that, I am just looking at this like, what is going on? Okay, so going up against the 152 millimeter. Yeah, you can over angle quite a bit. And you should be able to get the auto ricochets. Unless he's aiming at the turret, which the turret is probably going to be the best spot to be aiming at to begin with. So, decent side of her. I wasn't expecting that. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. So we're going to be playing the tank live today. So far, I can say that the M48 A2 120mm, it's not a bad tank. It has surprised me in a couple of ways. The top speed, I feel the top speed to be lacking quite a bit. It could be a lot better. And for the first match, we're going to be looking at Arctic Region. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm talking fast. It's Sunday night for me. I don't know what day it is for you guys, but other than that, we're going to be getting this and we're going to be rocking it. So this is a season, season four, right? Yeah, season four, because we had wrestling, Hot Wheels, action figures, and this is Winter War. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a brain fart. It's definitely a brain fart. Alrighty, so Arctic Region, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So the top speed, it, it is lacking. It does feel a bit lacking compared to most, but they got to find ways to balance out tanks. Given the 410 meters of V-range, along with that, a very fast firing 6.6 .6 second. We're just going to say 6.6. .6. We'll go over the crew after this match, and then we'll jump into another battle, depending on how this one goes. So, the back of this, we're looking at the M48 Patton Hall. So, if you have the M48 Patton inside your garage, the hall armor on this, M48 Patton has extremely good hall armor. But the turret that they introduced in this tank, it's all about view range and quick aggression. 10 degrees of gun depression is going to be super nice. T100 LT, E100 off in the distance, and cough. <coughs> Felt it. Oh, I just realized something. Look at me being a blonde today. Let's go ahead and bolster this up. There we go. I don't know if you guys can... Yeah. Really? Am I having this much fun today? I am having this much fun today. What is going on? Oh, I guess we're screwed in audio for two seconds. Alrighty, so coming up, we got the uh, Waffle Panzer IV. Nice, good 348 launched right into him. Actually, we're going to go ahead. Have you guys ever had a moment in your life whenever you feel like a complete and absolute blonde? Because you left Spotify open. And that's the reason why no audio was coming through. Well, me... Uh, that's what just happened. So, you know what? <laughs> this is the first match. Alrighty. We're going to be up on mines. It's actually pretty cool how they added mines into the tier 10 rotation. I mean, the map is pretty small, but... I gotta say, it's actually nice to be playing it in tier 10. Because it's been gone for, I'd say, about four years. If not longer. It's been gone for quite some time. And it's just nice to have it back. Oh, okay. 
All right, now we're good. <laughs> All righty. I completely lost track of what I was talking about. E100, and I don't even know. Oh, yeah, 200 LT, the last match. Well, that doesn't exist anymore. All righty. Let's see if we can be a blonde. Because I, I know I feel like one now. Oh, so good. Alrighty, so T95. Uh, last time up in the stream that we had earlier today, me and Blade decided to come up right over here and we got absolutely shredded. So, why not try the same thing from this side? And uh, I guess we're gonna miss. And look at that, right away, the Vorask. Oh, Manticore. So many things that are just so fun up in front of us right now. E75 going right through our frontal armor, and look at that. It hit the gun mantle and just went right through it. So yeah, that's the one thing I was talking about. The turret armor on this, it's not the greatest. It doesn't hold up well. If they hit you flush on it, they're going to go right through it. And it just doesn't feel good. Honestly, the way that this tank is, it just doesn't have enough camouflage to make it super effective. But for a free tier 10, it's not bad. The 120mm, as long as you can get the mobility down and you can find positions to go to. The side armor that is capable of auto ricocheting almost every single shell in the game, except for the 183mm. I, I think it's a pretty decent tank. Feels like they actually spent a pretty good amount of time putting it together. Pretty happy that they did introduce it to the game, though. It's always nice to have more of a variety. Alrighty, so we're going to be taking a risk up against this T-1104. We're going to put a 356 up into him. And we're probably going to be uh, receiving... Oh, no. Keep that rock between us. And rocking up. And there we go. Down to 46 hit points. Let's see if we can do a low hit point wonder match. So with the reload of the tank, we're going to be able to come back out, put another shell in. 502 health left. We're not going to want to try to pop out. So, let's use that 10 degrees of gun depression that we got. And we were unable to get the shot. This is not looking like a good match. It's already 7 to 13. Now we're going to start loading in the heat. And let's see, can we come up and say hello? Have a wonderful, oh man, gun mantle. There we go. T1103 off to our left here. We're down to 46 hit points. All right, this is not looking good at all. Oh no. All right, so a lot of the guys are all the way across the way. Honestly, with the reload of this tank, you can actually basically lock people down and just go nuts. So, T1103 off to our left, and... Oh. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get rid of the jump right into that next match. And match number three, or match number two? We're gonna go with two. <laughs> Sunset Coast. I don't know about you guys, but I had a wonderful day. The family came over. I got to say hi to my grandpa that I haven't seen in like two years, so it was pretty nice. <sighs> All right, so Sunset Coast, we're going to try something a little bit different than we normally do. And normally we like to come down to E5 and just rush up here and try to take over the center part. Because this is one of the most critical areas to take over. But we're going to actually probably come down to H5 and see if we can do any assist. Now, the concealment of this tank, it's not too bad as long as you're making a nest. And if you're a part of my channel, you know exactly what we mean by making a nest. I need to start making them more often because I haven't been doing it as much. I've been playing a lot of heavies as a recent and a lot of tank destroyers. Some tank destroyers, making a nest is super effective. Others, not as much. Some maps you're not even able to, but guess what? Whenever you do make one, it always helps out. And it makes me happy to see you guys put down in the comments saying that your gameplay is improving by watching my channel and me helping out as much as I can. So that's what I'm here to do. And that's what we're going to try to do as a community. Get all these new players up to par. 
with everybody else. Alrighty, you know what? This isn't looking too good. Waffly 100, and I have no high explosives. Well, I think we need to fix that after this match. Might drop, I don't know, might drop two standards, two premiums, two 16, 16, 4 for a separate loadout. So with the power to weight that this thing does have, it's not a slow guy. It's actually got some really good speed to it. And hello, M103, how are you today? Oh, you look like you already took a shot. Well, that's not healthy. All right, so Borsig down low. Let's see, can we come out and say hi? We can say hi for 321. So with the most recent update to the game, uh, damage is plus 10, minus 25. And I would love to back up. Can you please move? Thank you. And I had to take some splash damage from artillery. Speaking of which, T92 HMC, it is a nuke. Ugh. It's not a good way to get splashed for eh, 600, 700, 621. All right, so we got the two boar sigs up on our left. We got the MX-13-105 off in the distance. Tiger Shark. Let's see if we can come all the way around here without being shot by the boar sigs. They're running the 15 centimeters. Those are not going to be fun to run into. Oh, no! Snapshot capability in this tank. It does have a capability to do it. The .36 gun dispersion that it has. But it just doesn't feel like... You have that. All right, so we hit the tracks on the boar sig on the bottom, so let's just back up. Flip around. Hopefully these guys are handling that straw well. Hit over some of uh, these palm trees off to the right side here, and then see if we can back up and get a shot in. Might have to pull up just in case. Oh no, Waffle! Oh no, Waffle! Oh! Okay, we're good! We did get a second shot in at least. An auto drive just turned off on us. It's 10 to 13 right now, but still, lots of time left in the clock. We have a lot of guys up here that look nice and healthy. Object 140, he has, he has a one hit for most of the enemies right now. So let's just see what we can do coming up. Couple of guys in our base cap, but that's alright. And foliage up here on the left side. So let's take shots from behind this. And we were detected. What were we detected by? I do believe we have muffled shot in this crew. Three hundred and fifty-four ST one coming up on the left side. We might be able to pop out and take another shot. And tracked by a heat round. All right, let's come back out. One more, and he puts a shot into our side. He's done the two hundred and four hit points. He's a one hit for us. I wonder if we can get it. And no, we cannot. So let's just back off. Turn around right here. Get some distance between us. It's six to nine. Borsig, Waffle, and 48 down to a one hit. Hopefully someone can knock him out. Gonna drop down low over here. Come on. Actually, there's the Waffle. We do not want to get exposed to that Waffle. Even if we can manage to get a shot into that Borsig, that Waffle will clip us out. Let's fall back. In this tree, we should have hit it as we were going up. All right, let's see if we can get this fire rate to work for us. Ten shots left for standards and 18 premiums. Waffle off in the distance. Snapshot 377. Borsig off to the left. Let's back up. Let's wait to get unspotted before we decide to make a move. We are getting surrounded. WZ14 coming up behind us. Let's flip around. Let's pop in a heat shell. And artillery just took off the rest of our remaining hit points. 
Oh, man, it's ridiculous. Two shots by Artie this match. We're already basically out of the fight. SDI coming up behind and WZ14. Oh, and the WZ got us. All right. Well, there's not really much to go over on this tank. Sorry, I couldn't get an ace tanker, first class mastery, or some super unicum gameplay. I am playing by myself. But it is what it is. Now, before we continue, before we jump out and decide to go nuts and get on the outro, let's take a look at the perks here that we are running on this tank. So we're running six cents, muffled shot. Along with that, we have green thumb, silent driving, rapid loading, born leader, situational awareness, track mechanic, and camouflage expertise. So this crew setup is actually a transfer from the LPC and the M48 patent. Now, I have had good games inside the M48A2. I've had a couple of really good matches inside this tank. It's not a bad tank. It is definitely a good tank. And I gotta say, one of the biggest benefits that we have inside this tank is the side armor. So taking a look here, 88 millimeters up in the front, 76 along the side, and then taking a look at the back at 50.8 compared to the regular 50. 50.8 millimeters cannot be overmatched. Oh, sorry. Cannot be overmatched by 155s. It has to be a larger caliber than that. And from what I know, there's only one gun in the game that is bigger than that. And that is the Death Star and the FV4005. So, I do think this is a good tank. I do. Do I like it personally? No, not really. The armor is not where I would like it to be. I would like it to be a little bit higher just to, you know, give you that extra little bit of an advantage. Uh, 2,000 hit points, really good set of hit points on it. It's not bad. And for the tier 100 seasonal reward, definitely get out there, grind it, get it. If you guys already haven't gotten this tank and you already haven't played it, get out there, grind it, get it. Do not pay for it. Grind, okay? Grind this thing like I'm grinding for the Pajetto 65. All right? So until next time, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave a like. You have no idea how much it helps me. It's a crap ton. So until next time, I will see you guys out in the battlefield. Have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I'm going to go pass out.